Hi everybody, I'm Johanna Gaudio and I'm an occupational therapist at the Millville Public School District. Some of your kids may know me as Ms. Jo. Today we're going to work on a little bit of fine motor using clothespins. Some of you may have these in your home and there's lots of uses for them. So we're working on all the tiny muscles in the fingers here that help us with handwriting and scissor skills. So simply squeezing this little clothespin is exercising those muscles. You can alternate fingers to exercise different muscle groups in the different fingers. If you don't have clothespins at home, other options are handy dandy chip clips and hair clips. They work the same muscles and some of them are more difficult and require more force. Um, so this could build up the strength in their hands. An activity that you can do if you have a lot of these clothespins around the house is challenge your kids. See how many they can connect together. Another activity that can make it more fun and engaging and also work on some other skills is to write letters on your clothespins and have your child match the letters. Mine says, I love OT. You can get creative with this. Ask your child what they want to see bell and hang it on their wall as a decoration. Another activity you can try with your kids is having them pick things up like cotton balls. I didn't have cotton balls today, so I'm using these, but cotton belt balls work great and you can have them sort them and put them into a container. You can make it into a game and see who can get the most cotton balls in the cup. Another way to work on fine motor skills using clothespins and also addressing other goals such as cutting with scissors is to have your uh, child make some art for the home. It can be hung in the kitchen, the living room, in their bedroom. Let them look through your magazines and cut out pictures that are interesting to them or perhaps they have coloring books that they can color in and then cut those pictures out and then hang them up individually on a clothesline. You can use clothesline, you can use yarn, string, whatever you have around the home just to make it fun and engaging for the child. I hope you found all of this information useful and fun.